Here at CNS, we use a program called Satchel One, uh, which is sometimes also known as Show My Homework, as a way for teachers to be able to set homework, for students and parents to be able to find that homework and the resources that they need for that homework, and at times for students to be able to hand in that homework. Now, Satchel One provides us with a place where all of the homework can be put in one individual place so that students and parents can find all the information and resources that are needed for that homework. Students have a personalised account, so you can see the homework that's been set for you by your teachers for your classes. At the same time, parents also have a personalised account, so you can see the homework that's been set for your children and you're able to help them with that. Now, Satchel One can be accessed via a browser, but it can also be accessed via a dedicated app, which we highly recommend. And in these videos, I'll show you what it looks like on a, a browser and also what it looks like on an app as well. Now, Satchel Homework, you can find homework and resources for homework. You can tick off homework as it's completed. You can find a calendar of homework from across the school, if that's useful. And where asked by teachers, you can hand in homework via Satchel One. Satchel One also allows us to set quizzes for students. And sometimes teachers will ask for homework to be handed in via Satchel One, but it's more often for homework to be handed in within lessons. Now, within each homework, it will tell you how to hand that homework in. Now there'll be a series of videos that we make available for students and parents about how to do different things with Satchel One. This short video here is about Satchel One and the following videos will show you how to find that homework, how to tick off that homework as complete and as needs be how to hand that homework in. This video will explain how to set up Satchel One as a new user for the first time that you've used Satchel One or Show My Homework. Now to set up as a new user, you'll need the following things. If you're a student, you'll need your school email address and a PIN that's provided by the school. As a parent, you'll need a parent code provided by the school. And you'll want to go to the website satchel1.com slash login. Now there's three different uh, available tabs here. There's staff, parents, or student. I'm gonna show you how to do it as a student. So once you've gone to satchel1.com slash login or downloaded the app. First thing to do is to search for the school. City of Norwich School and Ormiston Academy. Then to enter the email address that you wish to use. So I'm using a student account and I will type in the student email address here. And then to type in to there the PIN number which you've been provided by the school. I'm not a robot. And that will allow you to sign up. As a parent, you will go through the same steps. Don't have an account yet. City of Norwich School. Type in the email address that you want to be attached to this account and then the parent code that's supplied by the school and then that will allow you to sign up. To set up on a phone or a tablet, firstly install the app, uh, go to the Apple Store or the Google Play Store, um, search for Satchel One and you'll be able to see I've got it installed just here. And once it opens I'll need to go through a similar process of finding the school, so City of Norwich, search. There we go, City of Norwich School and Normanston Academy. Log in with a PIN or parent code. And do the same sorts of process as before. Type in the PIN or the parent code, attach the email address to it, and then it will log you in and it will keep you logged in on that account. Now we recommend that we recommend the app very highly. We think it's very good and it's quite useful to be able to stay logged in because it will give you notifications and to keep you up to date with the homework. There are various ways that you can find homework and read homework on Show My Homework or on Satchel One, both as a list and as a calendar. Now, homework is displayed as a list as the default on the browser. The to-do list button here will bring up the homework as a list, both issued and completed. Now, there's none listed here because this is just a, a test account. 
but I can view it as a calendar. And that will have the calendar for both the whole school and for me as an individual. And again, there's nothing shown here as this is just a test account. So I'm going to show you what it would look like as a, as a real student. On the screen here is the homework as a to-do list. So you can see I've clicked to-do list here and it has issued and completed homework. Now it's organized by the uh, date that it's due. So 22nd of October, 23rd of October, etc. So you can see the ones that are coming up or that have a later deadline. Now this particular homework here on the evolution of slugs has been completed. So the student has ticked that homework because they've, they've completed it. It's, it's done from their to-do list. So if they click onto the completed tab, it will appear. So to this homework has been completed. And there's a little tick box next to each one so that you can tick it to indicate that it's been completed. Now for full details on the homework, if you click within a particular homework piece, it will take you to that homework. Homework can also be shown as a calendar and you'll be able to see some of the homeworks listed here as a calendar so that you can see when things are coming up and you can see that this one would have been set on the Thursday and is due later on. Now the detail of a homework can be seen like this. This is one individual piece of homework where the student has creative writing homework and it says when it was set and when it's due. A little description from the teacher as to what's, what's included. This box here is really useful. It tells you roughly how long that homework will take and it will tell you how to hand that homework in. Now as CNS, the majority of homework is handed in, handed in in class, in the classroom. But occasionally there may be homework which is handed in online via Show My Homework or via a different method, perhaps using Microsoft Forms, for instance. But the homework shown here, the teacher has said they would like to hand in the homework online via Show My Homework. And there's a separate video on how to do that. At the bottom, there are resources that could be useful. They might be PowerPoints, um, Word documents that you can download, or websites that will, you can link to to help with a particular piece. Now, I've shown what homework looks like as a list and as a calendar on a browser, number one on both of these sides. In a moment, I'll show you what the uh, homework looks like as on an app. But unfortunately, the calendar doesn't at this stage um, work on the app. It's only available to see homework as a list on the app. Now on the app, there is only one way to view your homework at present, which is as a to-do list. The calendar option isn't available on the app at the moment that I'm making these videos. So if I click onto the show my homework icon just here, there are three little tabs, upcoming, past, overdue, and here would be listed all of the homework that you have for each of your different subjects. Now there's none listed here because this student is just a, a dummy account, a test account, but they'd all be listed just as they would be on the website. And in the same way as on the website, you can tick the little box to show that you've completed a particular homework, which will take it off the um, upcoming and onto the past. If you're asked to hand in the homework via Satchel One or via Show My Homework, then it's quite straightforward to do so and it just involves a few steps. Here's the homework that I need to hand in. It's a piece of creative writing and to hand it in, I'm going to click onto the button here, Submit. And when I click onto that button, Submit, there's two ways that I can do so. I can either type it directly into the box here as an online homework submission, or I can upload it from my computer. And if I click on the upload from my computer button, it will enable me to upload a file either from my uh, computer or from the cloud, such as OneDrive or other cloud services. Once I've uploaded it, once I've typed it in, I can click on the submit assignment to teacher and that will save it and send a notification to your teacher so that they know that they can see the homework has been uploaded. Satchel One has a few extra features which can be particularly useful, um, particularly for some of our older students. And the two features I'm going to explore here are notifications and calendar synchronization. Now, notifications and calendar synchronization work slightly different on the browser version compared to the app version. So, I'm going to show you the browser version, version first and then I'll show you the app afterwards. Now notifications are rather useful, it will notify you when new homework is set or if you've got a particular deadline for homework coming up.
And to do this on a browser, go to account settings and notification. So here I am logged in as a student and I'm going to account settings. And if I scroll down, you'll see manage notifications. Now I can tick whichever of these I wish to use. Behavior points and badges don't really apply in the way that we use Satchel 1. Detentions don't apply in the way that we use Satchel 1. You could set it to daily digest, weekly digest, and I know some of our parents use those facilities, but it will tell you when a task has been published, and it will tell you if a comment has been left by a teacher, perhaps if you get a mark or some feedback on some work that you've handed in. Now, if I set those things up, anything that I tick will be sent to the email address, which is at the top of this particular page. Now, for most cases, that most students, those are the two that you want. Tasks have been published and comments. But you may wish to include others like notices, and it's occasional that we use it for a, as a notice board, and depending if you wish daily digest or weekly digest. To set up notifications via the app, go to settings, and this little menu here has a few different things that are used. So I'm gonna click onto the notifications space, now I can choose which of these I want to get notifications on my phone. It will pop up on the screen on your phone telling you of what's been notified, what's what's been updated. Now some of these, as I said previously, are not used at CNS. We don't use it for behavior points and badges. We don't use it for detentions. We don't need daily or weekly because I'm gonna get live updates on here. Now different people will want to set it up in different ways, but that can be very useful if you want to be notified when homework has been set or when homework is due. So as a teacher, I get a notification reminding me that my year nines have to hand in homework today, for instance. As a student, you may wish to know exactly when the homework's been set for your geography lesson, and when your homework is due for your history class, for instance. Now for synchronizing it with a calendar, perhaps if you have a calendar on your phone or tablet that you use on a regular basis, Show My Homework or Satchel One, if it's synced with the calendar, will alert you when you have homework due or there's um, homework been set. And it can be done in two ways. Now it works much better from the app than from the browser. So my recommendation would be to use this from the app. However, on a browser, you would go to Account Settings and add Homework to my personal calendar. Account Settings, scroll down to the bottom, add Homework to my personal calendar. Now if I click within this, I copy that link, I'll be able to link it with a, a calendar if I so use in that way. However, I do think it's much easier on the app, and in a moment I'll show you how to do just that. To sync Show My Homework to a calendar is very straightforward on a tablet or phone. If you go into the menu and you click on Settings, and then into Calendar Sync, once I click on Sync My Calendar, it will give me various different options once I click subscribe that will add that to my calendar. Now that can be really useful, particularly some of our, for some of our older students, to ensure that they have notifications that pop up on their phone when homework is due on certain days. And personally, I find it really useful as a teacher as well.